Hey fellas, Happy New Year. I wanted to make the video um, today. It's a couple days after uh, the first of the year. I'm really excited about some new pickups I got. I've been doing some roll searching. Uh, I actually found some pretty neat stuff out of rolls and out of circulation, just regular old pocket change that I think you guys uh, will get a kick out of. So before I go over the, the new uh, acquisitions, let's go and uh, take a look at a couple of the errors and varieties here. Okay, so you're gonna have to give me a second for this camera to, um, there we go. This is a uh, 79 Washington quarter. If you could look at the date, it's only got a nine. The rest of the year is missing the date on there. I know it's a 79 because you can barely see the seven. Now this is an error that's called struck through grease where a uh, mint employee went a little overboard with polishing the dies, left some grease on there. So when the die came down to strike on the planchet, uh, had to go through all that grease and it left out details. In this case, there was only a number nine on this thing and the rest of the date's gone. Now I can sell this and make some pretty good money on it because error collectors love oddities such as this you know I mean there's a lot of struck through grease coins especially in Lincoln sense where you're gonna have some of the uh, the motto Liberty and uh, the legend missing on some of these coins but the bet I mean this thing's worn and I'm surprised it's gone through circulation without anybody noticing it but it's a really interesting find right there and here's one I found roll searching. This is a, like it says on the bottom, a double clip planchet. So it's got the two clips on the, the top, 12 o'clock, and another one around 2 o'clock. It's pretty cool. Now that's not post mint damage right there. You could tell it's a, it's a slight clip. It's not, you know, nothing dramatic. If there was just one clip on there as opposed to two, I wouldn't think anything of it. It'd probably go back into the pile. As this is a 73 also, so it's an older scent copper. So that's a really cool find. Something like this, I could probably sell for five, ten bucks because it's got two of them. And this is a another copper scent. This is a 72D reverse cud. A cud is a piece of material on the. Let's see, it's on the back of this one. Okay, you see that bubble, the extra material on the rim there. That's what they refer to as a cud. It's like a rollover of material from the dye process. These, I know I could sell this for about three to five bucks. It's there, you know, it's only three, five bucks, but you know, I find these, I wouldn't say often. Out of a hundred dollars of cents I go through, I probably find about two or three. But hey, you can make money off something like this, aside from hoarding copper. Okay, so those were the uh, errors that I found um, since the middle of December. But let's take a look at some of the, uh, the new acquisitions here. Okay, picked up some more Canadian dollar. Price of silver has dropped quite a bit here in the last couple weeks. I hope you guys took advantage of it. It's down to, uh, uh, as of this video, it's like just over 29 bucks. But I picked these up when they were down to like 27 or just under that. And I picked them up right in melt. 65. Okay, Canadian dollar. 80% silver. And it's uh, about six tenths actual sil silver value in each of these. So that's 65. I picked up two 65s. The deal was so good. So, And these are like really nice shape. You know. Here's a 58. They made a lot of these, but it's a really pretty design. This is the uh, British Columbia, was a Centennial. It's got the totem pole on the reverse as opposed to the Voyager design with the boat and the uh, two Indians. There you go. That's the uh, younger Queen Elizabeth portrait on there. All right, so I picked those up. I also picked up a one year specific uh, there we go. It's a 64, 1,000 yen. It was actually issued during the Olympics. So, and it's 92.5% silver. 
it's a higher silver content than most other things like the US coins at the time were 90% but look at that Mount Fuji that's oh, beautiful okay let me show you the reverse it's got the uh, Olympic rings 1964 really pretty and it's all silver too okay and I I'm excited about these couple finds for my typeset I've been looking for let's see if it'll focus here if it doesn't that'd be a shame I wouldn't be able to show this to you hmm. nah anyways it's a no oh, there we go 1966 shield nickel it's a really good shape I would venture to say it's a VF maybe a uh, it has a shot at an XF. It's got a lot of the lines on the shield. A lot of those would be worn away. This one is with rays, so check that out. I've been so worried that I wasn't going to find a really nice specimen of this year with the rays for the typeset. But my buddy called me. He said, hey, I got something for you. And he gave me a great deal. Can't pass it up. And I picked up a commemorative here. Get a load of this. This is the... 1935D Texas Centennial. Probably one of the prettiest coins in the early U.S. commemorative series. Short of, you know, the, the Oregon Trail one is awesome looking. This is probably by far one of my favorites between this and the Norfolk. Norfolk. <laughs> That's the reverse of the Texas. Okay. My gosh, what a pretty coin. It's a mint state coin, no doubt about it. I picked it up right also. Got it from the same guy that sold me that shield nickel. So those were my new pickups. Um, silver right now is trading in just over $29. I don't know what it's going to do. This is the time of the year where you're going to start to see some major movement, whether it's head north you know, to higher prices like it did last year. You know, It was starting to move right about now. So if you guys can... Go ahead and invest in some silver. Gold is also an attractive buy also. It's retreated down to like $1,600, somewhere around there, uh, from its high of $1,800, you know, a few months ago. Um, but, you know, go ahead and uh, take some time to invest, you know, if you're a speculator. If not, you know, like me, I, I pick up a few every so often. Um, if you guys have any questions about some of the coins I've displayed on my videos, by all means, Go ahead and shoot me a, a private message or, you know, go ahead and comment below. Whatever's convenient for you. Um, you know, I have my link down in the resource box all the time. So I update with new articles, tips, coin roll hunting, success stories, and so on that, you know, I think you guys will get a kick out of. And there's nothing to buy on that site. So you click on it, you're not going to be getting spam for the rest of your life. Uh, so thanks again and, uh, you know, happy new year guys. Uh, we'll talk soon.